and in the end the um, the scores here don't it doesn't affect anything uh, I mean scores anywhere actually don't affect anything because I lean so heavily on the required one-on-one -on -one meeting but um, uh, I think uh, what this is useful as is for you to test yourself so with that uh, let me first set up my cheating tool and I am calling this a cheating tool for a reason so most of the things I do in this virtual class session is a demonstration but except for this what I'm doing here right now is not something that you actually should be doing what I'm gonna do as test students is actually cheating I do want to make sure there's no ambiguity about that uh, the rules for the multiple the time assessment say no outside the help that means anything outside, whether it's a generative AI or Google or a friend, <laughs> all of those stuff are cheating. So please don't use outside help. The only thing that you can use is basically whatever is within the course. Textbook, anything that's on Canvas, um, I guess the videos, um, but like with the time limit, 10 minute time limit, <laughs> you probably don't want to be watching videos while you're doing this. So. Um, so I want to make it clear that what I'm doing here is not allowed. I'm just, uh, you know, keeping up with what's, uh, the, keeping up with the current technology because me as an instructor should know what's available to students. So that's really all I'm doing. So I'm just going to prepare chat GPT for this particular session. So I'll say, uh, I have some screenshots of uh, multiple choice questions. Um, please. Give me the be best uh, answer for each, and um, uh, and a brief explanation. Uh, explanation in case anyone's interested. I think for someone who's trying to cheat, like you don't care about the explanation. <laughs> So, so I think with the screenshots, I can go through this really fast. It used to be that I uh, was run out, running out of time just to copying and pasting in um, question, but I think uh, with the screenshots, I can go through it as fast as I can, like doing it by hand. So let's give it a try. Again, this is cheating. Don't do it. I'm just doing this as a, out of curiosity and just keeping up with the material. Sometimes uh, GPT will kind of um, crash or something, but let's see. Uh, yeah, I was hoping it would give me the answer first. <laughs> but um, After this, I'll uh, um, give it that instruction. Give me the answer first. Okay, so it's this one. Okay. Thank you. But uh, uh, with... Um, but star, start with the answer first, uh, please. Because um, I, I think sometimes those generating explanations will kind of run out of time. In a straight line, okay. And because I'm simulating someone who's cheating, I'm not even reading the uh, explanations. I'm just, you know, cheating as best as I can. <laughs> and I, I do think uh, uh, it'll be, I, I don't know if it'll get 100%. I wouldn't be surprised if it does. It's gotten really good over the last year or so. Um, Time-wise, I'm pretty sure it can beat me. Um, so I'm gonna, so I think I'll have enough time to do this a second time without cheating. And I want to, I call this a pissing contest between ChatGPT and me. Man versus a machine, you know, who's better? So far I've been better. I've been better at accuracy and time, but uh, we'll see if, uh, um, I think I'll still be better at accuracy because I have an unfair advantage of having written these questions and answered them so many times before. But um, in speed, uh, ChatGPT might actually um, beat me. <laughs> we'll see. Because <laughs> uh, it is a fa faster reader and typist than I am. Because, like, you know, I, I can't run faster than a car. Like, generative AI is a faster uh, comprehender of. On this, it is accelerated from six times the maximum. Okay, okay, it's that's the right. 
So, um, so after I'm done with the, this and the next two questions, and uh, 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 let me give it thirty seconds, and if it's gonna hang here, then we'll um, just start. Okay, okay, okay. The horizontal doesn't affect the vertical. Horizontal. Uh, what? <laughs> the response to it is just wrong. Uh, I mean, ChatGPT has been able to analyze speed images for a very long time. I mean, by very long time, I mean more than a semester. I think last semester, uh, the ChatGPT 4, uh, not 4 only, but 4 could do it. What else do I Downward direction, okay. All right, so with this, and because I'm gonna try to measure the time, you know, how quick chat, is chat GPT versus how quick am I, uh, I'll just submit without double checking any of the answers. And uh, if we got 100%, then accelerating downward edge, okay. So I'll just make sure I answered everything and then submit, yeah. We'll see. Yeah, ninety percent. That's pretty good. Uh, let's see which one it missed. So, by the way, uh, this is a kind of a demo in the sense that uh, when you are reviewing your work uh, before the due date, you won't be able to see which ones you got right or wrong. And actually, that's one context in which uh, it, it can be a proper good use of generative AI after you have taken the time the assessment. So the you know no outside help rule doesn't apply anymore. You can actually take what you like you know try to figure out did I get this right? And if you're not sure, you know take the question and your answer and then ask ChatGPT, hey, do you think I got this right? And you can use ChatGPT like a tutor in that sense. So this question, I think that's a correct answer. Yeah, I mean the it's missing that factor of two, but for the purpose of this question, it doesn't affect the the units. Uh, this one. Yeah, that's zero acceleration, good. Um, this one, so one six, yeah, so he can probably jump six times the height, is that right? Uh, yeah, because I think I'm referring back to like v squared the formula. If your acceleration is a six, then the displacement can be six times. So I think that's all right. We, yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, acceleration. Oh, um, so I gotta do that. Um, so I'll do that on all from alpha. So I'm using V squared formula. Uh, so maximum height, I'm, so, you know, V squared formula, V final, uh, final squared is equal to V initial squared minus two times G times delta X. I'm imagine solving that for delta X. So that version will be delta x is equal to v final squared, which will be zero. Um, yeah, zero minus um, the initial velocity, 1.62 meter per second squared. Wait, squared? Oh, no, no, one point, that's the wrong number. Uh, minus 18 meter per second, uh, the square of the whole thing divided by a minus two or gravitational acceleration. So minus two minuses cancel. So it's two times uh, 1.62. Um, oh, and yeah, it, it's, it, it, I, I, this final answer is uh, got correct units. Let me make sure, make sure it is. Okay, so I'm, let's have uh, all from about calculate this. And it's, uh, yeah, 100 meters, so that's correct. Uh, traffic jam slows down, go, going at 65, slows down to 16, what is the, uh, uh, so you don't need the time, all you need is the initial and the final, and then it's a uniform rate, then it's a sum of these, so 81 divided by 2, take off that's 41, up, round it. Uh, that's correct. Two balls are dropped, same height, one second apart. Uh, yeah, it does get larger and larger, because I think, uh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it doesn't stay the same, I think. 
Yeah, because it always will be the case one of the balls has higher speed. Like for the distance to stay the same at some point, they would need the same speed moving down. Performance of a car, I think this is right. Um, yeah, these times are factor of six different and that would be, uh, yeah, there's acceleration difference six times. Um, incorrectly describes. Oh, yeah, this is correct discretion. The correct incorrect, uh, so you know, the choice statement that is actually incorrect, hence the correct answer, would be um, uh, this one. It's a kind of a nitpicky definitional thing. Um, because uh, when you call something a projectile motion, by definition, you're referring to a motion that occurs only under gravitational acceleration, which means we are ignoring air resistance. So, you know, like a mathematical technicality, that choice is wrong. So let me, so, you know, suppose you are looking through it and you are trying to figure it out, then, um, uh, so you could ask ChatGPT something like this. Uh, so it looks like we missed the one question. I think it's uh, this one. Uh, can you look at it again? Uh, and let me see if it'll correct itself and say the, the third statement is the one that's actually incorrect and therefore correct answer. Yeah, I mean, uh, work, uh, so, uh, yeah, but like, yeah, that is correct, but it doesn't contradict this. Speed is still the slowest. Might not be zero. <laughs> That's fine. It's still the slowest. Uh, yeah, uh, so, uh, sorry, uh, the professor says the answer is, um, Can you explain? It might not grasp the technicality of it. Yeah, Pro ideal projectile motion. Yeah, I mean, you know, if it's not ideal projectile motion, we'll tell you. We'll, you know, say, make take uh, acceleration, take the air resistance into account, or we'll tell you, um, uh, it's a terminal velocity, like we wouldn't call it projectile motion. If we say projectile motion, we mean ideal projectile motion, because this is lower division. <laughs> yeah, all right. So yeah, you missed that one question. And how much time did we take? Uh, it took yeah, 4.1 minutes. Yeah, I, I don't think I can beat that, um, but <laughs> we'll give it a try. I, I think I'm gonna lose uh, time-wise, but... Um, uh, I, I might still be able to beat it on accuracy. So here, uh, I'm not going to explain a whole lot of stuff. Does the 4.1 minute to beat, that's a really hard time even for me. don't know if I can. Um, but I'm going to give it a try. And <laughs> so I, I, I will um, use all the shortcuts I know. I, I, want, um, I want explain stuff. I'm, I might not even say a lot. Oh, incorrect. Eighty-three divided by two. So two seconds. Wow. I think that's the correct formula. Um, and it, it feels right now. That's 
no sé si está. On the way up, you know, yeah, I think that's right. Just, you know. By the way, this is, these choices are dynamically generated. Um, that's why there's nonsense statements. Yeah, if air plays a role, not projectile motion. Initial launch speed and shape? No, because we are ignoring air resistance. No. Yes. Um. Oh, yeah, I think most people can guess this right. All right. Make sure I answered all the questions. Did I get 100%? Good. <laughs> Again, I have an unfair advantage of one, having written these questions and two, um, uh, 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 being um, um, uh, having answered this many times, so if any of the questions are tricky, yeah, I, like trick questions don't trick me here. But yeah, I took uh, a little under a two minutes longer than ChatGPT did. So uh, I, I think that's something that um, yeah, I won't be able to be generative AI just because, uh, especially with the screenshots, um, uh, there's no way. Or actually, uh, you know, it's, it says all attempt, so I'm pretty sure. Uh, so, so I can review the recording, but before I started my second attempt, it was like four point something second, uh, four point something minutes. That I think it means I took only like two or three minutes. So okay, never mind. I actually beat ChatGPT, so I, I'm still better. <laughs> uh, but you know, it's because I have unfair advantage. Otherwise, um, it would have taken me longer. Um, and as it, this is, I think, uh, one of the reasons at some point me doing this demo will kind of have a diminishing uh, return <laughs> because uh, some point I get bored and I don't really want to do a proper demo. So if you want proper explanations and whatnot, there are a ton of examples here. Watch that. Uh, that's gonna be more helpful than what I do. Uh, let me uh, do one last thing. So in case with the uh, first attempt that the test student had, if you are interested in the um, explanation, so you know, for the attempt one, if you are interested in the explanation of all these questions, then let me do this. I'm just gonna um, scroll through side by side. So question one, you know, on the recording, you can pause and read it, make sense of it. Um, question two. Question three. Question four. Oh, uh, scroll slowly. You can also pause on the recording and um, read it, uh, understand it. Question five, question six, and I forget how many questions are in the pool. There's probably five times the number of questions I got in the pool. Uh, question seven, but you know, between all the demos, I think you might actually be able to see all the questions that are in the pool, or all but like a few. Right. Question eight. So this is the one that it got wrong. Uh, like this is our correct statement. Yeah, they are independent of each other, so they don't affect each other. <laughs> um, so, um, so it's uh, this choice that, uh, on technicality, it, it is a kind of a trick question because you really have to give that technicality a lot of meaning. Uh, question nine, and finally question ten. So I think that's it for the um, uh, the multiple choice timed assessment demo. Um, are there any questions <laughs> from people who are here in real time? Uh, let me just see what's in the chat. Uh, assessment, uh, uh, which ones we got correct? Um, yeah. So I think that question is relating to the um, relating to the the. 
free form, I'm sorry, multiple choice timed assessment. So let me uh, kind of do a quick demo of what that might look like. So I still have the third attempt remaining, so I can do this. Uh, this time, let me just waste the third attempt, just end, answer it randomly. Um, and then um, I will show you how you might use ChatGPT to kind of help you with the, uh, the future attempt. So I'm just going one, two, three, four, one, two, four. Sorry, that was, uh, it's fine. I'm just picking randomly anyway. So, you know, when I do it this way, I'm probably going to get like um, just 20% right just based on random chance. So, uh, so let's imagine, you know, someone who's struggling, 0% right. How is that even possible? That's just, okay, then you know you got everything wrong. <laughs> so <laughs> there's no question there. But you can do something like this. Um, so let me start a new session here. Um, I have some multiple choice assessment result and the system is set up not to give me correct answers now. Can you review my work and tell me what I got wrong? If I got it wrong and explain why. So you can do something like that and if I paste in this uh, um, thing where I got it wrong, it'll probably tell me correctly that I got it wrong. And yeah, it, then it'll you know explain the whole setup and it'll explain all this and do the calculation and say, yeah, that's the correct answer and yeah, select the answer is wrong. Now, let me to try this with uh, um, one of the correct answers. Let's see if it actually correctly identifies that the answer was correct. Because uh, sometimes the chat GPT can be too accommodating. Like if you try to gaslight it, you know, tell it, like just lie to it, it'll, it's, it's too quick to like just apologize and agree with you. It's too submissive. <laughs> um, so uh, let me try giving it this. Uh, it might tell me that I got it right, in which case I think it's doing it fine. You can just use it this way. Um, so if it tells me that I got it right, then that's great. It's not just automatically assuming that I got it wrong. Uh, so it solves it through and then two seconds, which match. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you can basically go question by question with the ChatGPT. The one thing to be aware of is that ChatGPT can be wrong. Um, <laughs> like, you know, the first attempt, it missed the one question. Um, but, you know, it's gotten a lot better with the calculation. And I think sometimes when it's wrong, you can kind of see a gap in its logic. Because, again, it's a large language model. Um, it's a text -to prediction model. It gives you a plausible sounding um, text. It doesn't actually have ability to reason through lo a logical sequence. But as you are reading it, as you are trying to reason through it, if you see a, like a clear contradiction, then I think you can actually spot where ChatGPT is wrong most of the time. So I hope that addresses the question in the chat. Um, 